Hi guys, it's Bees. So I'm going to be playing another 10 minute game. So let's see how this one goes. As you can see, I changed the platform a bit around. It doesn't matter right now. We're going to use up the common opening. For me it is, I guess. We're going to take that. Okay, he takes it. Now we're going to take this. Of course. Now we're going to bring this bishop out. That was a close one. Don't want any mouse slips, do we? Okay. So what he's trying to do is boom, boom, and cobalt. So we don't have to worry about that because of the queen. So we're just going to happily castle. All right, now we're going to take that. Attacking the queen. And the knight behind it. So if we move away, like from right here, we could take that. Okay, so he moves his pawn down, which actually is a kind of good move. So we can we can pin this pawn actually, since it's on the king side. Let's pin it with the rook. So now he can take, and and we'll end up taking that with the bishop because in the bishop we are okay. He castles, so now we're going to take with the bishop because there's no check. And we just want to um, take that queen. It's not going to give us it, but we have to try still. Next move, I'd probably do something like this. Oh, maybe push this pawn up, free this bishop up, give this board some air. Okay, so he pushes his queen down. Typical. Now, what I mean by typical is that's what I've seen most people do. Now, let's see. Um, usually, what I was going to do is something, something like this check. This just puzzles me a lot. Like, what is he aiming for? Like this. Let's try it. Check. I could have given it the bishop, actually. Okay, he blocks the check. Now, he shouldn't have done that. Now he's pinned with his queen. So, this is bad for him. And I wouldn't be sad if he resigns, because it's good for us. Let's see his move. I don't think he can... Yeah, he can't block this pin. Because sometimes, like, let's say... Let's say this rook was here on the e okay he takes typical very typical actually let's say it was on here on the e1 square then he could have blocked that pin i'll show you the position we're going to analyze this game um we're going to take this free pawn down if i was a knight we'd be 10 times stronger because we're doing a fork like i explained in the last video a fork is basically when you attack two pieces at the same time and now there's an issue with this fork though this is a fork and because the knight is a low value piece we're attacking two high pieces he could escape this and bring it out or if he saves this one then he could use the other one which is kind of okay now what we're gonna do is we're going to simply take that pawn free pawn um Let's wait for him. Next move, I would bring that if he didn't have two protection. So I want to move his knight, then we can do that simply. Now you might be saying low value piece trade, alert, alert, alert. And okay, see, we're going to do this. Take sticks. We are taking two pieces for one piece. And that's amazing. Now we have a queen. How? We have two, we have two points extra. We would do a trade, otherwise I'd be just equal, so I'm not going to do that. But the problem is if we avoid this, it's checkmate, which is bad. This is very sad for us. We have one option, it's to take. It's sad. It's very sad. Unless we can protect that square with the queen somehow. I don't think that's possible. Damn. I think what we 
going to lose this game. I have no idea. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So we have one option now, and that's only to take. It's very sad. Yeah. We have to escape this guy's threats. We were supposed to win this game, but hey, it's all right, I guess. Escaping. See, I told you he would do that. Sad. I mean, we did get an extra bishop out of it, but really, was all that necessary for an extra bishop? So that's what I'm thinking right now. This is what happens when you don't double up your pieces. I've been told that many times. I should have listened to them instead of just picking out some pawns. But mistakes are made. It's fine. Check. We are winning again. So everything is restored. We're going to take that rook where it belongs. And he resigned. Now let's analyze this game. Let's go to game review. This is quite nice. I really like this. So let's see how much accurate I did. All right, 76. That's not bad, but it could be better. All right, the blunders, I made one. Let's check that. Sharp, that was a real battle, but you earned the win. Let's start the review. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, sure. So, this one was bad. B, E, 7. That's wrong. This let your opponent kick your piece. All right. It's fine. R, E, 8. Apparently, that's wrong. Let's see the best move. He takes. It's fine. Fine. A four put pressure on the pinned queen attack. I think that should be brilliant, but it's fine. Queen x4, that's okay. And this is the position I think where it goes wrong. Bx e2, rd1. Okay. That's what I would have recommended, sure. B4, c4. Leads to losing a rook. Sure. And I think you guys know what happened next. I do this. Check, check, check. And then he loses his rook and he resigns. So that's it for all now. I will see you next time.